All right, hello everyone. I just wanted to put something a little bit better uh, together as far as uh, the uh, taking a part of the Moonraker is concerned. I pulled the needles out, I'm just gonna leave them there. This is how it works. Now, it's not bad. It's from last night's cleaning and lubrication. And I wanted to show how um, the pins are retracted. All right, I think that's pretty much center. <clears throat> there were 10 of these, I dropped two of them. These are neodymium magnets uh, that I got from Harbor Freight. There are 10 of them. What I did is I'll just use a two pack. Uh, two pack is not a good term. Two of them stacked together, it generates a better force. So what you do is looking, sorry, right there. <clears throat> this is all solid metal. Uh, the pins are just below this rim, if you look at it, oops. Uh, the pins are just below this rim, or I should say, in this position, they're just above the metal ring. Okay, let's try this again. They're just above the metal ring. They're here, in three positions, 120 degrees apart. So somewhere, 120 degrees apart, right? There are three pins that are pushed into that ring now that need to be retracted with magnetic force. So what the email said is try to find at what part, at what point along the circumference about quote halfway up or down, depending on how you look at it, uh, uh, down this, uh, the height of the metal ring or the body, I would call it, of the, um, of the Moonraker. Halfway down is really where this crease is, where it goes from being completely perpendicular to the plane and going at an angle into the corner. Um, so the construction inside is a little weird. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like a huge chamfer, if you were to chamfer it from above, right? But it's there to accommodate so you can see the gears, right? All right, so what I did is I take a two magnets stacked on top of one another, right? And I just go around, gently around the circumference. There, it caught it. Around the circumference, let me try to get a better angle. I'm doing this by myself. Around the circumference of the ring, right on that crease, just on the other end. just on the other end, just below um, that line where it's machined at an angle versus machined perpendicular or parallel to that, the sides. And then it goes at an angle to the out to the edge of the corner. So here you can see it stopped moving and it grabbed. So you just leave it right there, just like that at an angle. You will see that rotating it could theoretically knock it out. You can see for, gosh, sorry about that. Rotating it, you almost hit it uh, with um, one of the gears, or at least the part of the gear that holds the the magnetic nest uh, for the needle. All right, so let me hold it there. So that's one, and then so you know the other one is going to be approximately here. That's 120 degrees away, and then the third one will be here. So once you find one. Uh, the other one, let's say it's estimated to be right around here. You move the gear sort of away from that location. You grab two magnets, put them in, and right there, there's your second one. One and two, and let's grab the last two. Open up the position. Should be, let's see if we can do that here. No, it's actually hitting. Very good position. I think we'll do this. I think that's the best we can do. And, oops. Okay, so this happens as well. Happened last time as well. We just kind of went down to, oops. Uh, and hit the metal or the magnets down in the gear, in the planetary gear itself. Let me put this down. Right there. 
right? Okay, there it is. So this is a way, you can see, it's away from the, um, from the magnets of the pins, and it's strictly adhering to the metallic pins. So now, let's see if we can just pull this off. There you go, comes right off. 